European Space Agency's Rosetta spacecraft first began orbiting Comet 67P slash Kiryamov Gerasimenko in August 2014, almost immediately, scientists began to wonder about several surprisingly deep, almost perfectly circular pits on the comet's surface. Now, a new study based on close-up imagery taken by Rosetta suggests that these pits are sinkholes, formed when ice is beneath the comet's surface sublimate or turn directly to gas. The study, which appears in the July 2, 2015 issue of the journal Nature, reveals that the surface of 67P slash Kiryamov Gerasimenko is variable and dynamic, undergoing rapid structural changes as it approaches the sun. Far from simple balls of ice and dust, comets have their own life cycles. The latest findings are among the first to show, in detail, how comets change over time. These strange, circular pits are just as deep as they are wide. Rosetta can peer right into them, said Dennis Bodwitz, an assistant research scientist in astronomy at the University of Maryland who is a CEO author on the study. The pits are large, ranging from tens of meters in diameter up to several hundred meters across. We propose that they are sinkholes, formed by a surface collapse process very similar to the way sinkholes form here on Earth, Bodwitz added. Sinkholes occur on Earth when subsurface erosion removes a large amount of material beneath the surface, creating a cavern. Eventually the ceiling of the cavern will collapse under its own weight, leaving a sinkhole behind. So we already have a library of information to help us understand how this process works, which allows us to use these pits to study what lies under the comet's surface, Bodwitz said. The amount of material from the outburst was large about 100,000 kilograms but this is small compared to the size of the comet and could only explain a hole a couple of meters in diameter, Bodwitz explained. The pits we see are much larger. It seems that outbursts aren't driving the process but instead are one of the consequences. Based on the Rosetta observations, the team has proposed a model for the formation of these sinkholes. A source of heat beneath the comet's surface causes ices, primarily water, carbon monoxide, and carbon dioxide, to sublimate. The voids created by the loss of these ice chunks eventually grow large enough that their ceilings collapse under their own weight, giving rise to the deep, steep-sided circular pit seen on the surface of Comet 67P slash Kiryamov Gerasimenko. The European Space Agency officially extended the Rosetta mission on June 23, 2015, meaning that the spacecraft will have the opportunity to track Comet 67P slash Kiryamov Gerasimenko for a much longer time period as it moves away from the Sun. The comet will reach perihelion, or its closest point to the Sun, on August 13, 2015. The extension expands the mission by nine months, from the planned end date of December 2015 to September 2016. The extra observational time will enable the team to see how the comet's surface responds to decreasing solar radiation.